Good afternoon guys, welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. Guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for taking a couple minutes out of your day to spend with me. I'm happy to have you here. We got a great show in store for you today. Some big news and some what we'll call truth telling that needs to be done about some very mysterious Instagram posting. Now obviously a lot of you guys are very excited about who's gonna win the PS4 Pro or Xbox One. I have contacted the winner. They've got a couple days to be able to get back in touch with me if they don't get back in touch with me then I'm gonna have to pick somebody new so that's ongoing but make sure you're staying tuned in my channel every single day I'll have updates on that and if we have to pick another winner if the guy doesn't respond to me and like squad I need your help today let's get some crazy likes on today's video the more likes we get the more YouTube decides that it likes me and we get more visibility on our videos so uh, very lightly tap the like but it's probably only two inches away on your mouse and if you watch my videos it helps me out more than you can ever know all right guys anyway our main story. Now our first story guys, I gotta, I gotta admit, it's actually pretty funny. I'm surprised I'm actually doing a story on it, but I'm doing so because I got maybe like 30 or 40 like very concerned messages about what Amelia Hartford posted on Instagram while on vacation. Now what was actually posted you're asking? So Amelia Hartford uh, went on vacation very recently and decided to post a nice picture by the beach under a cabana of sorts and essentially announced in the text below that she's decided to leave automotive YouTube to become kind of like a destination vlogger. She's gonna start using inspirational quotes, that's gonna be your life, and so on and so forth. Now to me guys, this seemed very much like a joke, but there were so many panicked comments underneath her post of people like, no, don't leave Automotive YouTube, we need you. Uh, I probably counted at least 30 or 40 people that were very, very confused about why Amelia Hartford would possibly leave the Automotive YouTube scene, uh, that I decided to reach out just to make sure. Obviously it looks like a joke on the surface, but you never know, Amelia Hartford has been one to kind of mess with people every once in a while. So I contacted Amelia and yes, she's very much trolling everybody on her Instagram account. So if you were one of the people that were very concerned that Amelia Hartford was going to leave Automotive YouTube, I did the work for you. I messaged her. We're all good. She's just having a little bit of fun on vacation. Now our second story today actually has to do with Stradman again. If you'll remember our last episode actually dealt with a comment he made about new V12s coming to the channel in 2020. So I obviously in a couple days here. But what I've noticed over the last couple days looking at Stradman's channel, because this is all I tend to do with my day is analyze and take a look at other YouTube posting schedules of my favorite supercar community creators. Uh, I noticed that Stradman hasn't had anything up for over a week now. So a lot of you are like, well, what's the big deal? You know, obviously Stradman doesn't post daily, but yeah, that's absolutely true. But there's a little more to it than that. Typically Stradman uploads every like three days or so. Once in a very great while, we'll get every four days but over seven days now of no posting makes a lot of people start messaging me I mean like what happened to Stradman where is he I'm sure he's absolutely fine the guy has obviously earned a break after the crazy content he's been providing on his channel over the last couple months in particular and we gotta remember guys this is the Christmas New Year's season so everything for the most part is on a lot slower of a schedule than what we're normally used to so if you were one of the many people that messaged me about where Stradman is is he okay why haven't we heard from him. I'm sure he's just fine guys. He'll probably be uploading any day here to bring in 2020 in a big way. All right, guys, into our next story. All right, so a really fun video just went up uh, by Tavares, and this is a pretty cool thing, guys. So obviously, if you've been following Tavares' channel, you'll know that over the past week or so, Tavares has had two just monster videos on the Pimp My Ride refurbishment of that van. And the series is over, guys. That van is going to Hoovy's Garage now. He just gifted it to him uh, per video form a couple hours ago. Very, very cool thing. I'm sure Hoovy's Garage is gonna have a fun time messing around with that very good-looking van now that they've actually had had some time to refurbish it. Make sure to go check it out. Tavarish and Movies Garage, both excellent channels. Next, we have TJ Hunt, guys, who actually took delivery of the Lamborghini Aventador that he bought for himself. A huge move for his channel. Obviously, even though the Aventador is a little bit older as a model at this point, it's still pretty much the ultimate flex car for YouTubers. If you have an Aventador, you're probably going to have some success on your channel. Go check it out. A huge move for TJ Hunt. You don't want to miss this episode. Donut Media is next with a phenomenal video, guys, and I really mean it. Uh, on 
11 new car trends that need to die. One of my favorite hosts over there, go check it out guys. A fantastic video going over pretty much all the different trends in cars that we are hating right now and how they need to go away in favor of something a little more practical. Go check it out, fantastic video. Donut Media is one of the leaders in our industry. If you're not following him, you're messing up. Vehicle Virgin, still in the major resurgence on his channel, uh, has tuned the 600 LT McLaren that he has. You have to check this out, guys. This car is making a about as much horsepower now as a McLaren 720. I'm very excited to see kind of what that's going to look like when he decides to race one. And uh, he's basically announced that he's going to. So tune 600 LT versus a stock 720. What do we think is going to happen? Let me know. Next, we have drag times, guys, with a fantastic race between a Mustang GT500 and a Ford GT. If there was any doubt in your mind over who would win, make sure to go check it out, guys. Drag Times is one of my favorite channels because they do some of the best dream matchups between every possible supercar and normal car and sports car that you could possibly imagine. Go check it out. And to round off the day, guys, I have a very special treat for you from Washness Media, uh, one of my favorite cinematic automotive channels, coming in hot with a, a new video called Baby DDE. I'll just show you a couple clips from right now because it is just fantastic. Here we go. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Make sure to subscribe to our channel on our march to 200,000 subs. Uh, it's just incredible how far we've come from the beginning of 2019 to right now. I can only imagine that 2020 is going to be incredible. Thank you guys for supporting me. And if you guys held on this long in the video, just a heartfelt thanks. Uh, you guys have made this year incredible for me. I can never thank you enough for the support that we've received for just doing this fun speculation stuff that we do on our channel. Channel, pretty much the only channel that does so. So thank you guys so much. Have a great new year if we don't see you before then. And uh, let's bring in 2020 in a fantastic way. Take care and bye.